uh, the engineer behind this. Thank you so much, uh, Caesar. This is. I welcome all of you here. Uh, it is uh, a little bit unique that all the other projects were presented by the students, and this one is presented by me, who is one of the persons instructing them. Oh. Uh, I want to clear the doubt which has been there that uh, this man teaches art and design, fine art. Why is he doing all this? I want to uh, say in 1445, an Italian artist called Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest artists in life, made several art pieces, most of which were drawings. And his artwork uh, inspired a lot of engineers and scientists. I also would like to say his drawing, the engineers used his drawing to manufacture a craft, something that could fly in the air. And it took them 400 years before they could build one. So there is a lot of relationship. This kind of thing gives me a lot of Art gives me a lot of creativity and, and you know, and innovation attitude, and even architectural plans, they come from here. So I think I'm not in the wrong place. It will remain upon you to tell us whether art is science or art itself. <laughs> now, this is a generator. I am surely aware that everyone knows a generator. And around here, all generators run on fuel. But this one in particular runs on non-fuel. It runs on electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is a branch of physics which studies the relationship between electricity and magnetism. I am not physics. If I have made any error here, please, physician, help me. Aha, uh -huh. yes, thank you. Thank you for the support. So this project took us two years and it consumed a lot of money. When the students started this project, we discovered it was not right for them because it produces high power and uh, it could cause problems. So we turned it into a teacher project. Uh, we have a little battery behind here which starts a dynamo through a motor. Then the motor runs the dynamo. The dynamo produces 14 volts, which is indicated by this meter here. Then that electricity is stepped up to 230 volts alternating current. And is geared back to run the motor while part of it comes here out to be used. So in that concept, you find that there is no need for fuel. So it is a generator which you can run and run and run and run for many days, for many weeks, without getting exhausted, without requiring fuel or any other thing. Before I explain further, let me test. See, turns the system on. And then the black switch is a load switch. Okay? So immediately I turn it on. That is the sound that comes and the voltage produced is indicated in the meter. We have not connected load to it. Now when we connect the load, we need to switch this one on. And it produces, uh, it indicates here, the alternating current voltage being produced, which you can read on the meter. I have here a 220 volts alternating current bulb, which I would like to fix here and see if it brings light. Does it bring? Yes. Do you see light? Yes. Do you see light? Yes. yes. And that is it. So, I have only brought this bulb here to test whether the output use your television here, you could use your radios here, you can charge your phones here, you can do a lot of things. 
So I would like to therefore introduce some people I work with. Since I told you this was a little bit too advanced for all level students. I picked two A-level students whom I work with, Aquar Michael and Oling. Are they here? Okay, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Go to learn that art is at, is at a central point. It can coordinate very many subjects together. That's why even English can come for them to look for learning, teaching, learning aids and, and so on. Then I have Olin, who is a student of physics, senior five, with whom we develop this. We also got technical support from Fundibots. Fundibot gave us two technicians who were here for the last three days, helping us to double check and find out that the current is not dangerous and uh -huh. This is a of Fundibot. All the way from Kulu for the last three days we have been here and we have been spending sleepless nights working on this project. So I thank you so much. This project is still at the prototype level. Prototype means you have thought about something and if you think it may or may not work, then you build it up to test if it works. Now we have tested that it works. And URSB is here to tell us, please go ahead. I'll make a bigger one and donate to our guest of honor for tonight. Thank you very much. The only thing that may disturb here is the battery, probably, if it goes low. But as long as your battery is working, you use this generator at because we lack finances, it is, remains at the prototype level here. Now, which generator is on market which looks like this? It is not there. I challenge URSB, I know your jurisdictions, but if you could, because you're exposed, go to the globe and search for us for people who can sponsor this project so that many types are made and put on market. We shall be very grateful. Thank you very much. I branded this generator, Domitan. What does it mean? Uh, it was a hard question to, to me to answer, but I say uh, I named it Domitano because uh, I was uh, remembering the legacy of my parents, who are both now the late Domitila Kao and Gaetano Kelo. So in honor of their legacy, I thought one of the innovations I'm making should have this brand name. It sounds a little bit of Italiano. If you go to the internet or chat GPT, you'll find that information there. Thank you very much.